Ever try painting an eggplant? Well, it can be kind of a difficult thing to do. I mean, it's this big dark blob. Okay, it's a beautiful, a beautiful dark vegetable, sometimes known as an aubergine. And it's got highlights. And sometimes it can be really tricky to keep everything in the right value. Hi, I'm Gail Sibley, and today I'm going to be painting an eggplant. I'm also going to add a head of garlic. Now, why should I do that? Well, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to run the whole gamut from dark to light. I mean, the shadow side of the, sh the eggplant's gonna be really, really dark, and the light side, the, the highlight, where the light is hitting the garlic, is gonna be really, really light. So that I thought would be really interesting. The other thing is, an eggplant is shiny and smooth, and a garlic is textured and has a matte surface. So I thought that contrast would be really interesting to work with as well. For this demo, I'm gonna be using UART paper and I'm gonna be using a limited palette of soft pastels from Mount Vision's workshop set. So, let's go. So I'm working on UART paper. This is a piece uh, that is 6 by 11 inches and it is the 400 grit and I'm it's um, a sheet from their trial pack which gives you a really great opportunity to um, try out different their different um, textures. This is sort of a middle textured one. So I started with a vine char charcoal drawing and put on my first layer uh, with the three values the mid, the light, and the dark. I chose the, the reddish color for the eggplant because the eggplant really, ha when I look at it, really has, um, has a really reddish tone underneath the darkness. You know, we sort of think of eggplants as purple, and they kind of are, but to make that purple, um, it's nice to use the two colors, sort of the reds and the blues. And so I started off with that reddish color. The eggplant's sitting on a yellow cloth, and so I put in the blue for the shadow, um, the cast shadow, and then I could work the green over it to sort of make it, uh, the mixture of the yellow, yellow and blue would be green. Um, so I started with the blue, and then I used also the blue on the garlic. And then because the yellow is so intense, that cloth is so intense, I use that yellow. And then I put the uh, more greeny yellow over it to really intensify that yellow where the light, from the side, the light is coming from. The eggplant is really, like I said right at the beginning, it's a tricky um, vegetable because it is so dark, you know, and there's, and in the workshop set, um, there are a few darks, but you can see that dark that I used is uh, super dark and it's a dark dark blue um, but there weren't any there aren't any dark greens which is interesting there's no dark greens in that set so you you know when you're working with a limited palette uh, you have to pick and choose and figure out how you're going to create those colors now I have to say the workshop set the Mountain Vision workshop set is actually 50 pastels to choose from Five of those, or six of them, I think, are in a sort of a gray scale, which is very handy. Um, but, you know, 50 is 50, and so they have to make choices, and there is not a dark, a very dark green. You've seen I've added that blue on the eggplant, and that's, there's a cool light coming in from behind me. There's um, the windows behind me, and there's a cool light coming through. And that that's different from the, the highlight that the the uh, light source on the left is going to give. You can see that the the garlic uh, casts its the garlic stem casts a little shadow against the uh, eggplant and breaks that blue, that lovely little light blue up. I've added. Um, I'm working on that sh cast shadow, uh, trying to create a color. The colors that isn't just a solid color, like just a solid blue or a green. And I added some of that warm color to slightly mute down the blue. And also I added it then into the eggplant so that there would be partly, a, you know, the, there's some color harmony. I really want the, the eggplant, even though it is so different and so dark, so um, in color, so it's a different in color and value from the cloth that it's sitting on as well as the garlic. 
but I want everything to be unified. I want them to be linked up. So using the same color in all objects, the, the cloth, the garlic, and the eggplant, creates helps to create that unity. Um, and so it's really trying to see some of those colors. What's the color? What's a common color? And even though I didn't use that ready orange in the garlic, there's the pink in the garlic. And then there's a sort of pinky purple in the eggplants um, closer to the uh, the butt end, <laughs> the blossom end. I guess that's what it's called, the blossom end. Um, you can see working on the texture of that the garlic. I mentioned in the introduction, you know, the the um, the wonderful texture and matte surface of the garlic compared to the smooth shininess of the eggplant. So that's been that's really fun to work with. Now I used um, some pale blue over on the right hand side to mute down that yellow. It's a little bit further from the the light source. And I wanted to graduate that yellow color. So it's not just, um, you know, a single yellow. I wanted it to have interest. So away from the light, it's a little bit cooler. And then in the foreground, there's a little bit of pink added. Um, so the intensity of the light is coming from the upper left. Again, oh, using that lovely um, orange just to bring a kind of color accent in there. And you know, that really, really comes from looking, looking at what you're painting and then seeing, and that takes time, seeing the colors, seeing the different values, how they change, you know, the co comparison between the cast shadow value and the eggplant itself, the, the, the contrast or the comparison between the uh, shadow side of the garlic and the cast shadow on the yellow. You know, how dark, how light, how cool, how warm, all of those things. And that comes from really looking and then seeing. And then, of course, um, putting that down on paper. You can see that the one highlight, there's that lovely highlight on the eggplant that comes directly. It's a, you know, it's a direct highlight from that light source to the uh, upper left. And the light is also hitting the stem of the garlic. There's a couple of little accents that are so wonderful. I'm just redoing the, I, real, I looked at the shadow and I realized that the drawing of the shadow needed to be corrected. So that's what I'm working on here. And also that the, the line of the shadow is not a, a hard line. It was a very soft line, as is the top part of the eggplant. You know, I didn't want it to be a cutout shape against the background and there's a sort of softness and there's a light you know the light even though it wasn't high there's not a highlight on the top of the eggplant it is still sort of lit and that creates a softness so it's you know thinking about edges as well the soft and hard edges lost and found edges and I'm just using that dark a little more dark there you know to to show up something to be much lighter than it really looks, put something darker around it. And that's what I was doing around that highlight. And I think that's pretty much it. And there are the, I think it was 17 pastels because I kept trying out different ones. And there's the final painting. So that's me painting an eggplant and a garlic. An eggplant is such a lovely, uh, vegetable to paint. I mean, it's so full of subtle changes of color in the, in that really dark value. And the other thing is those highlights, you know, they're not as light as you think they are. So really it's about looking, seeing what's really there and then doing, putting that down on paper. Now, have you ever painted an eggplant? I would love to hear what your most challenging uh, what the most challenging thing you found when painting an eggplant. So leave those in the comments below. If you would like to see the original photograph, the photograph of the setup and my thumbnail, then go on over to How to Pastel and read the blog that's there. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful and do subscribe to my channel because then you'll be the first to get the videos that I put out on pastels and pastel painting. Thank you so much for watching. Ever try plant planting? Oh my gosh. That doesn't have a lot of uh, um, 
things that I can't even think of what they are. It's a dark, a beautiful black, a dark, a beautiful, oh, physical object because it's a, never mind about that.